Hey guys, it's Jay Marlins 15 here, and welcome back to another video. This is a Boca Juniors career mode episode here on FIFA 18. This is episode 4 here. So, we're still trying to get some players because we've only been able to sign Stefan Fry, uh, a goalkeeper, and Jordan Ive as a right wing so far. Those are the only players that we've been able to sign. Um, I've been looking also for a new center back to replace that in Sagrade. Um, transfer hub. I'm not sure we, where we were the last time I tried to offer them something. Um, I don't even know how much our our thing is. Um, like how much money we have. So I'm going to go to office and search. Oh, well, I don't know where the budget is. Yeah, the finances. Let's see the budget. We got 13 million dollars here, so we could try and uh, try and afford someone. I'm not sure. Maybe transfer hub. Let's not search up for that much expensive players. Let's try and sign Nathan Ake. Oh, the club recently acquired the player, so they aren't looking to negotiate his leave. So now we're gonna try get Zuma. Nope. You can approach him as soon as he returns to his parent club. The player is currently on loan at another club. Let's see about Winston Reed, although I don't know what 13 million can do. Let's go after Ahmed Hegazi, who one of my friends, uh, you know, he offered him to me. Got Tony Poulos here. Nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Let's get started, shall we? First off, let's decide what type of deal we want to pursue. Let's offer a transfer fee. Um... Go up to eleven point three hundred and fifty thousand. See if you like it. Submit the offer. You want to sign Hegazi for eleven million three hundred fifty thousand dollars? Can we agree on that? I think that's a fair offer for Hegazi. We're happy with the terms, so we'll get all the paperwork ready and finalize the deal. It's been a pleasure. Until next time, take care. So we're finally in meetings with him. You have agreed terms with West Bromwich Albion. You can start negotiating with the player. So I'm going to try and um, get this budget fixed. Because we have zero dollars in our wage budget. So we need to put this all the way up to about... Uh, not many wages, but like that. Advance there. Alright, here we go. Um, transfer hub. Go back here to Hegazi. And we're going to negotiate his little contract. And um, let's see whether I see his agent here. It's great to see you. Thank you both for coming. Have a seat, please. So here we go. Thank you for having us. Let's begin by talking about his role at the club. My client expects to be an important player and play in most matches throughout the season. Oh, well, don't worry. He will because, I mean, other center backs are terrible. I'm going to accept that. I agree. There's a lot of competition for places in the squad, but I promise I'll give Higazi the playing time you both are looking for. <clears throat> so he seems kind of happy with it. Before we move on to something else, let's agree on the length of the contract. He wants to sign a three-year deal. Uh, three years is fine by me, I guess. As long as you keep him, let's accept that. Sure, that works for all of us. We're happy to offer Higazi a three-year contract. An important squad role and a three year contract length. My client isn't considering adding a release clause to his contract. We assume that suits you. Alright. Let's accept it. We don't want to insert a release clause in Hegazi's contract either, so no release clause there. Let's move on to the next item and talk about his salary expectations. He expects at least $79,000 per week. We would require a signing bonus of a million dollars. I'll count him. Ooh, cause that would put me on a lot. Edit the wage and the signing bonus. Wait. Let me see. Edit this. I see. Well, we don't want this deal to stall, so how about $14,501 per week? That's not what I asked. 
And as for sign on fee, how about 999,950? I don't even know about these numbers. It's not gonna work. We came here open to finalize this transfer. Your revised offers is appointing, and the guys no longer has any interest in joining your club. Maybe our pass will cross again. Bye for now. God damn it. I didn't want to put 14 million. You 14,000. You guys saw me put 30,000, which is the money that I had. I don't know why this crap doesn't work. I had to go all the way back to the office and put wages up there. Ah, oh, God. This is really not working. Oh, well. Let's try and go after someone else because I really want to get the center back because all these center backs are terrible. Position is a defender, is a center back in a role. No. Center back. Let's submit the search and see what's going to happen here. We got some very young players over here. Hmm. Gabriela Chilieri. Yeah, I've heard of him. He's uh, he's Equ He's from Ecuador. Um, let me see. Pablo Aguilar. I'm just trying to search like a familiar name. Because the season is about to start in just a bit. Yeah, we got the this league. Osvaldo Alanis. I'm going to try and go after Alanis. Because he's a Mexican um, in, in the Mexican league. So I'm going to put him up in my transfer hub. And he's 28 as well. So I'm gonna see if we can possibly get him. So we go to the transfer hub here. Go towards him. See where he is. There's Alanis. We're gonna approach to buy him and we're gonna meet with him. So he's from the Mexican league, so he shouldn't really cost that much. It should cost us about 10, 9 million something. Good to see you. We've been looking forward to this meeting. Let's get started. First off, let's decide what type of deal we want to pursue. Let's offer transfer fee. Nope, do not submit that dollar. Jesus, they would be like, oh, you want a dollar? I'll give you a dollar. I got a, I got a dollar right here. Um, frick. I don't know. 13 million, maybe? I don't know. How about 10 million, 350,000? No, I don't want... I said 10 million, 350. Apply. We're prepared to offer you $10,350,000 for Alanis. Uh, they should be able to accept that. I could even, I could have, I uh, could have gotten even a, a little bit lower. I think that's a fair offer for Alanis. We're happy with the terms. We'll get all the paperwork ready and finalize the deal. It's been a pleasure. Until next time, take care. So we're here. And now, this time, we're going to office and we're going to finances and then to budget. And then we're going to put this wage shit all the way up here boom advance so we don't have anything that on the budget now we've got to go to transfer hub here um go on what the hell is he he was on the top you have agreed terms with guadalajara you can start negotiating with the player so we're going to negotiate with osvaldo alanis Os Os or oswaldo all right it's great to see you thank you both for coming have a seat please Thank you for having us. Let's begin by talking about his role at the club. My client expects to be given enough playing time and at least be part of the bench each week. A rotation squad role is what he wants. I'll counter it. I'll give him an, a, an important role. I'm sorry, but looking at our current squad, I don't think that's a realistic expectation. The best I can do is promise that Alanis will be an important player and play most matches throughout the season. My client is happy with that and he's eager to get on the pitch and join the rest of the lads. Alright, what is the next topic? We're making good progress. Now let's agree on how many years you want to sign for us. Alright, give him about a nice solid 2-3 years, maybe. Uh, let's give him 3 years. We would like to sign him on a 3 year contract. See if he agrees to that.
Yes, that's what we were after. Let's carry on. So he's agreeing. An important squad role with three years of contract length. I don't know what his overall is, but I hope it's better than Issa Ghalbe. My client isn't considering adding a release clause to his contract. We assume that suits you. I'll accept it. We don't want to insert a release clause on Alanis's contract either. Yeah, I just forget it. We got a 56k in the wage budget. Hopefully this go this transfer manages to go through. Now that we have agreed on that, let's get straight to it and talk money. The wage. 55. I'm gonna say I wanna say 55k wages. Nah, just to put 50 wages, whatever. And they want a signing bonus, I'll give them a, a million dollar signing bonus. Oh, two, that's all we have. Um, edit that and put that to zero and then put this to 290, 290,000. We would like to have a nice on a $50,000 weekly wage. We are willing to offer a signing bonus of $290,000. <clears throat> I think the signing bonus is a little bit too much, but well, we're willing to make this deal happen if you pay my client a weekly wage of $41,000. We're looking for a signing bonus of $590,000 and $670,000 after 15 appearances. I gave him $50,000 now, so he wants $41,000 of wage. Just give him the 40, 41k that he wants. Zero, put that into a zero, um, and then let's go over. What the hell is wrong with this game? Edit wage, Jesus. Oh, edit wage, God damn it. Edit forty one thousand, and then put this down to a zero, zero, zero. Apply that. He's not letting me apply it. not letting me apply the 41k wage bonus because I, I I offered him I had offered him the 50k and he didn't want it so now all right now it's not letting me now great fine let's offer him what we have then I see well we don't want this to install so how about $29,917 per week as for a sign-on fee how about $589,987 that's not gonna work. We were hoping we came here. Yep. Uh, this is a club that has no money. I need to get more money, so I have to play some more games, win trophies and stuff before I can get to sign on these players. Let's go on to season and calendar because I want to see when this transfer window exactly ends. Um. Oh, it ends in August, dude. So we have a couple. We have a month left technically. Oh well, whatever. Boca Junior is still a strong club anyway. We can't even get the cheap players. Alright. Mr. Miranda, Arsenal have shown interest in taking Guido Vadala on a one-year loan deal. You can find the details in your folder along with some comments from me. Regards, Chief Executive. So let's go and open that up. Um, Arsenal de Sarandí. Oh, I thought it was Arsenal. Let's get the Argentinian Arsenal. He's 20. So let's accept the offer. He's a young player. Let's go. All right. Let's move on. We're now in the month of August. We're waiting for the Argentinian league to start up. I want, it, Mr. Miranda. I wanted to let you know that Hamburg have agreed to pay the nineteen million five hundred thousand dollar release clause for Christian Pavon and have started negotiations with him. As you know, this means it's completely up to the player whether he stays with us or moves to Hamburg. If you want to keep him in your squad, I would suggest renewing his contract terms as soon as possible. Since Hamburg have activated the, jo the release clause, should the player decide to join them, the $19,500,000 transfer fee will be received by the club. Alright, I, I don't think I'm going to pick it up though, because we got um, Cardona also playing for us. And we, plus we need that, we need that money. Um, that $19,500,000 is going to come in handy. So we are going to need that money. Yep, he's been sold, as the chief executive says. Guido Vazala has been loaned out as well. So until we get some big breaking news. Oh my god, Marco Roy signed for the for Milan. Jesus Lord. 
All right, Roma have shown interest in purchasing Fernando Gago for nine million three hundred thousand dollars. Ooh, that's one of our best midfielders too. Ooh, dude, that's Roma right there. We're talking about if we can tell them to, um, you know, flow us some more money, then maybe we can have this done. All right, we're gonna have the meeting. We're gonna skip this. We're gonna propose a new transfer fee. Maybe if they give us. 10.5 million then I will say Roma's a, r a rich club kind of yes they're gonna give us the 10 million five hundred thousand dollars so now Gago enters negotiations with Roma but I don't know why wa Roma would want Gago though um, then again he's a 70 unit overall so now they're in terms there uh, Guido Badala has accepted a one-year loan move to Arsenal. Guido Badala will move to Arsenal immediately and will return as soon as his one-year loan expires. You can recall Guido Badala back to the team at any time for a fee. And then Christian Pavon and his agent have agreed on personal terms in Hamburg. The deal to sell Christian Pavon for $19,500,000 has been finalized. The board has allocated $16.5 million to your current transfer budget. So let's go. Um, we've done it, we've sold him, Pavon, he's out, um, obviously a blow, but look at that, we now have some money to play with, got a couple 30 million in here, alright, let's just advance forward, so Boca Juniors is going to start the Argentinian season in 6th place, I don't know who their opponents will be, but I'm guessing that we're going to have a game, pre a game pretty soon, um, possibly this weekend. So, maybe we can play. So this simulation, kind of going a little bit slow. I want to go a little faster. It's not me. Just doing it. All right. So there's Santiago Vergini saying something. Dago was sold to Roma. So, our manager rating update. I don't know. I think our rating went down because it was a 79 before. I think it's now up to 78. Oh, yeah, we're playing someone, all right. We're playing someone on the 19th. See, I don't know much about the Argentinian league. I only need to play Arsenal. Um, Gimnasia have shown interest in taking Gonzalo Maroni on a one-year loan deal. So let's go over there. He is 18. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll accept that offer. Um, all right. Now here's Gago. He's been sold for $10.5 million. And the board is allocated 8.5 million to the transfer budget, so we got some more money. Boss, I can't lie that I, w I was worried that you had plans to replace me. I know now it was all the media speculation that gave me a case of paranoia. Thanks for being patient and letting me know that this isn't the case. All right, who are we playing? I don't know who this team is. Oh, it's, at, it's Atletico Tucumán, the third place team. That's who we're playing in this first game. We can still make a couple of signings. We still got just a couple of days away for the transfer window, so we can make make it happen one week before the transfer window. And during the last day of the transfer window, we're probably good to make some signings here and get some of the players we also want, like Pulisic and all that stuff. Um, kind of as a backup to replace Pavon, who we lost, and we we'll have Jordan Ive now. Atletico Tucumán. We're playing them away. This is our first game. So we're going to have our yellow away kits, and they're going to have their striped blue and white home jersey. All right, semi pro. I'm going to have a four-minute game, honestly. Game settings going to be four minutes. And then we're going to have gold news for the Arsenal game against Patronato. So we're going to have something there. All right, let's see the team, because I want to make some changes to it and see what's good. Didn't I send Maroni out for a loan? Well, I guess... Um, they still haven't decided yet. I mean, I guess I could play Virginie because he's better than Insaurade. Um, which is 74. So, um, Cardona, I know he's a cam, but whatever. Um, Barrios looks like we're going to have to play him as our CDM. And we don't have anyone, basically, we have four players in our reserves. So, this is the ones that we're going to have to ha have in the subs bench and everything. So whatever, we're set to go at Atletico Tucumán against Boca Juniors. And this is the first game of the Argentinian League for Boca Juniors. Um, of course, we played the preseason. I think we won the North American All-Stars trophy or whatever. 
We still have Benedetto on the team? I think we do. I thought I saw him to Milan, but then I think the deal broke down because they didn't want to pay too much money at that. So at the Primera División, we're at the Estadio El Medio. Atletico Tucumán against Boca Juniors. Let's get it. Let's get it underway. Here we go. We're at the Estadio El Medio. Have to set four action here. Oh, look at Benedetto. Pass on to Perez. Benedetto shot. Touched away by the goalkeeper there. Right. Corner is going to be taken by Cardona. Headed up by Ballini. Perez with the pass on the Goltz. Playing it back to Fabra. Goltz. Benedetto shot. Gets blocked. Now Perez. Ball falls to Ballini. Now here's Aliendro. Pass intercepted by Fabra. He plays it down to Benedetto. He gets past one man. Benedetto's shot. Just goes off the far post. Cabral to Villagra. Kicked away. Hada's header. Finds Jordan Ive. Benedetto. Loose ball. Laucha clears it out. Hada's header finds Ballini. They have Nunez. Pulga finding Blanco. Blanco's pass intercepted by Hada. Now this is Virgini. He plays it to Perez. Jordan Ibe. Benedetto. Oh, Cabral takes the ball away. Romat finding Ballini. Over to Pulga. Blanco. Through pass. Hada intercepts and it goes back to Fry. Virgini playing it to Perez. Sebastian Perez. Pablo Perez on to Benedetto. Here's Benedetto. Sebastian Perez. Good save by Laucha. Gonna be a corner here for Boca Juniors. Taken by Cardona. Ballini heads it out and finds Rodriguez. Pass goes to Aliendro. Blanco. Taken by Perez. Goes to Virgini. Played forward with Pablo Perez. That's his Barrios. Through dive. Jordan Ibe. Laucha saves his shot. Out for a corner. Cardona with the corner. There's a header by Sebastian Perez. Out for a goal kick. For Atletico Tucumán. Cleared by Lucetti. Fugini has the header. Miloch takes it. Finds Rodriguez. And this is Ballini. Through ball finding Blanco. His shot could save by Stefan Fry. And a corner for Boca Juniors. Or for Atletico Tucumán. It will be taken by Rodriguez. Put in the box. Headed by Sebastian Perez. It's going to fall to Ballini. Player down for Atletico Tucumán. Rodriguez with the cross. Headed out by Goltz. Right back to Nunez. He pulls his left footed shot wide. And there's Stefan Fry with the short full kick. Playing it towards Virgini. Pass to Pablo Perez. Benedetto. Viagra. Intercepts the ball. Miloc to find Ballini. Pass forward to Blanco. This goes out to Miloc. Rodriguez. Goltz intercepts the pass, passes back to Fry, gives it to Sebastian Perez. Pass goes off Aliendro, Perez gets it back and finds Benedetto. Barrios to Pablo Perez, finds Sebastian Perez. Cabral intercepts the pass, Miloc over to Viagra. Out to Aliendro, taken by Cardona, finding Barrios. Benedetto back out to Cardona. Good ball to Benedetto. Played over to Pablo Perez. Cleared out by Cabral as he takes it away. Had his header. Finds Jordan Ibe. Benedetto. Finding Pablo Perez. Lucetti saves it. Two minutes of stoppage time added. Cardona takes the corner. 
Headed away by Butoni. Falls back to Cardona, who finds Sebastian Perez. Back pass goes to Pablo Perez. And there's Hara. He puts in the cross. Butoni with the clearance. And Borgini passes it to Sebastian Perez. Cabral clears it out. And that's half time. Atletico Tucumán and Boca Juniors are tied. Nil, nil at the moment. So here we go. Patronato is beating Arsenal 2 0 at halftime. Uh, Banfield against Union and Godoy Cruz against Colón had not yet started their game. Nil, nil between Boca Juniors and Atletico Tucumán. Blanco over to Aliendro. Passes back to Sbutoni. This is Bolini. Pass on to Nunez. This is over to Rodriguez. Rodriguez playing on the left. Block pass by Virginia. It falls to Hara. Hara. Nice pass to Pablo Perez. Out wide on the right with Jordan Ive. Ive escapes. Back inside for Benedetto. He takes the shot. Just put it wide. Atletico Tucuman has the goal kick. Cleared by Lucetti. Ballini. He goes out wide. Roma plays Aliendro. Over to the middle with Milok. Back to Baldini. Plays it over to the left as he finds Viagra. Into the middle with Rodriguez. Rodriguez tackled by Hada. Rodriguez still has it. Milok is in there. And a penalty given to Atletico Tucuman. A yellow card for Virginie. And now Atletico Tucumán's got a penalty now. A change for them. Blanco will step up to take the penalty. And it's stuck. It's slid in. 1-0 to Atletico Tucumán. They score on Boca Juniors. A penalty I guess the right way. He just slid under his arm. So Ismael Blanco scores a penalty and Atletico Tucumán leads it 1 0. Cardona out to Ibe. Finding Benedetto. Here's Benedetto. Pablo Perez blocked. blocked. Spruzzoni with the clearance. Hada finding Ibe with the header. Benedetto. Sebastian Perez. Cardona out wide finding Fabra the cross it was Ives shot that goes over the bar and here's Barbona coming in for Aliendro a change for Atletico for Tucumán for second Boca Juniors make the change with Nandes coming in for Sebastian Perez Lauchetti ready to launch this goal kick There's Acosta, passed on to Blanco, the goal scorer, plays it over the top, but Hara's header, finds Barrios, now foul. Free kick here for Atletico Tucumán, free kick to be taken by Rodriguez. It is Rodriguez, the right to the hands of Fry. Fry throws it out with Ive, playing to Nandes. I think, oh. My friend is calling me. Give me one second. Barcelona have put out a statement that the transfer is completed. Well, there were a few in for this boy, and uh, this team in pain around 55 million pounds. Mage, oh, too early, offside. Manager won't be too happy with that. Acosta. Now this looks promising. That will help ease the pressure. Then stronger. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. He had a good look at that, decided it's just a throw after the tackle. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place.
played really well. He's a thorn in the side of those opposing defenders and took his goal really well. Alright guys, I'm back. So Atletico Tucuman in another change and Barbona got the header in there. Just wide, okay. We're gonna bring in Maroni for Ibe. Something needs to happen here because we're down one nil to a shitty team. Boca Junior should be on top and they give the ball away to Alvarez. Great job, pricks. Good tackle by Virgini there. Adios, Perez. Meleto. Out to Maroni. Perez. The cross. Ah, Benedetto missed it. That's a throw for Atletico Tucuman. Ah, oh, come on. I want to at least salvage a point out of this and get a draw. Looking good, this move. Moroni's shot, and he puts it in somehow. It's 1 1, and we've earned the go low trophy by scoring a low driven shot. It's 1 1. There's Moroni. He just pulls it just uh, past Lauchetti. Gonzalo Maroni has scored. We're taking out Virgini. We're bringing in Evangelista. Last change for us. It's 1 1. What a thriller to begin the new season. Sputoni almost gave the ball away there. Nice tackle. Benedetto finding Maroni. Marios Perez. And I guess he was offside there. Because Sputoni kicks it. Marios with a header, but. Oh, Milok gives it away to Benedetto now. Cardona. Maroni. Oh, Perez lost it. Barrios. Maroni gives it away to Barbona now. And a chance for Tadipa Tucuman to score. Three minutes of stoppage time going to be added. Oh, Benedetto was about to get through there. Sputoni gets around the tackle. It is. Oh, I was going to pass it to the guy in the middle. There, 1-1, one, one, the final score here as the referee pulls his whistle. Atletico Tucumán and Boca Juniors with a 1-1 one, one game. Oh, that was really intense. I almost, I didn't know I was gonna, if I was gonna lose or not. But Patronato beats Arsenal de Sarandí 3-1 in their game and those other two games that have not yet started. Um, so we're still sixth place because of the, uh, in one point. So, look, yeah, it looks like Brahimi got signed by Barcelona. All right, now we don't have Maroni anymore. Now so we need to start bringing in players because now our rating goes down to a 77. Our manager rating at least. Um, Civelli suffers a pulled groin injury. Alright. Grimsby Town have shown interest in taking Julian Chico on a one year loan deal. Yeah, we're literally loaning out. We're literally, we're literally loaning out all our loan uh, reserve players. He is 19 though. So, 59 overall, so I'll give him a chance. Chico can go out to Grimsby Town. I'll accept the offer there. And then, Gonzalo Marani has been loaned out to Gimnasia. So, there for one year. Alright, this is business. This means business because now we're going to try and sign some hardcore players. We're going to put all this up $40 million in the transfer budget. So... I would like to keep the changes, so then, then I can offer them a lot of money. Transfer hub, let's go sign a player. I think there's Pulisic, there's Werner as a possibility as well, but I don't think I probably could afford Werner. Um, Otero Tovar says he won't move again because he just got to the club. Hope he can sign Hegazi again. Um, dude, Sanchez, Renato Sanchez. Honestly, we're gonna approach to buy him though. Oh, he's at, um, alone at another club. Damn. And we need someone who can hold the fort down. Um, Pulisic, get Pulisic. 
I'm gonna first buy. This player has a release clause active. Do you want to pay 3,500? Now I want to begin the negotiation with the club. I don't want to pay no release clause for him. Look at our nice office now. Hello, glad you made it. Let's take a seat. Look at the nice office we have now. Uh, first off, let's decide what type of deal we want to pursue. Let's offer a transfer fee and let's edit it. It's current value. I'm gonna go after 20 million. 20 million. Actually, 20, 20 million, 250 thousand dollars. How about that? Submit the offer. We're prepared to offer you 20 million, 250 thousand dollars for Pulisic. To the accept. You're gonna to have to do better than that. How about 28 million, 300 thousand dollars? We also want to include a sell-on clause and receive 10 percent of the transfer fee if you sell Pulisic in the future. Counter. You must propose a new transfer fee. I'm gonna go after. How about some 28.5? Nah, just keep it at 28.3. Just tell him, yeah. Sweet. We don't want this negotiation to fall through, so we're willing to pay the 28300000 transfer fee you're asking for. So there you go. We want to put this budget all the way up. Alright. Go back over here. And to budget, to finance this, put a budget and put this crap all the way up because get that done. Get it done because I want to sign a Christian Pulisic. I want to sign a player that's going to do big things for this club. So we are going to negotiate with Pulisic. Yeah, gladly, gladly. Thank you for having us at the club. Um, that looks nothing like Pulisic. Um, he wants to be the first name on the team sheet and have a starting role throughout the season. Oh, hell yeah. Well, he'll have that. Accept that. I agree. There's a lot of competition for places in the squad. Yeah, pff, whatever. Um, okay, they want the length of the contract. Um, four years. How about that? Four-year contract. Oh, we're after the four-year deal. Uh, he doesn't want to add a release clause. So, I'm going to accept that. No release clause. Oh, he wants his wages... $43,500 weekly wages, and then a signing bonus, and then an additional bonus when he scores five goals. Jeez, us, we can we can afford all that? Accept it. Okay, we're willing to have Pulisic on that wage. We're we'll all eager to see him join the rest of the lads. So it looks like we signed him for that signing bonus as well. Look at that. Look what we have. We've acquired Christian Pulisic, everyone. Look at all that money we're splashing the cash on. Look, we can even include Pulisic in the, in the team already, I think. Yeah, there's Pulisic right there. Start him instead of Ibe. Ibe can... He can play left wing, though. Like, play this Perez on a CDM role. For Barrios. Perez can come in for Inseralde here. To change Cardona. Ibe is going to be in left wing instead. Because Cardona's a cam, so I can put him in for... Inseralde here and then change things up. Virginie could come in for Barrios because he's not even a CD. Because all this is fucked. So Sebastian Perez can come in for Cardona as a CDM. Cardona can just play the CAM role with Perez or the CM role. Um, so there you go. I would like to save those changes to the team sheet. I'm going to try and at least play one more game, but I'm not sure about that. Um, um, so see, I don't know who this team is, but I, I think, I know we're going to play them. Uh, that's not all side of Uh, we're playing Olimpo in our next game. Oh, God, how many teams are there? 28 teams. And Olimpo are currently 24th with 0 points. We are in 9th with 1 point. Looks like everyone else decided to show up, because we were in 6th before. So now, on to play Olimpo in this next game. But we're not going to play it in this episode. We're going to go on to the next episode and play it. I just wanted to just make it the start of the league. Alright, this simulation is really slow, but whatever. Oh, some players are, living on, are leaving on international duty, so let's find out who they are. Um, some players are leaving on international duty from August 31 to September 6. Frank Fabra of Colombia. Um, oh, pfft. It's only one player that's gonna, that's not gonna be with the squad. 
but it's from the 31st of August. That's um, when the transfer window, the last of the transfer window, um, there's so we still have some time, and I'm I'm not surprised that that Pulisic will get would get at least a call up from the U.S. team, and then I know these guys don't really they don't I don't really see them as appearing for their national teams that much in real life. Um, so whatever. I would expect that Pulisic would be there too, but whatever. We're playing on Olimpo in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. So um, peace, everyone. And I'm going to see you later for a um, World's Best 11 uh, Ultimate Team Series out in a bit. Peace.